How are you feeling? Pretty excited. Uh, obviously, a bit of a change from F3. Yeah. Um, also, it being last year's car, it's pretty, pretty current. So, uh, yeah, pretty looking forward to it. A bit of nerves, a bit of excitement, but uh, good nerves and good excitement. It's huge. Um, yeah, I think that's the main thing. Obviously, materials-wise, a lot more carbon. I think F3 could have costs and have a bit of plastic around and <laughs> try, to, <laughs> try to save where they can. Um, but yeah, the, the size is the main thing. Um, obviously, 18-inch tyres, only have two of those so far. Um, and yeah, just everything on steroids, really, compared to, to what I'm used to. What do you think is going to be the biggest shock for you today? See, I hear everyone saying the brakes. But I'm going to wait and see. Yeah. I think it's just going to be how fast it is initially. It'll just wake me up a bit. <laughs> Should we just run through it in the normal route? So, should I start with weather then? Because I've just looked at it. <laughs> so, I think, yeah, we look, looks like we're really lucky today. It's been pretty bad the last few days, so it doesn't look good for mix, but we look like we've got blocked into a dry day today. Um, so we're expecting about 12 degrees up to about 15. There's no need to remember the run programme now, but just to give you a bit of an idea, we'll remind you every run, but we'll do an install. We'll probably do the install quite early, and then we'll take a, an hour or so. It might be up to an hour yeah. to just check the car over and wait for the track to come up a bit. Any questions at the minute from your side? Okay. This circuit, obviously, you know, it's a pretty high energy circuit for us. The fronts can be a bit difficult. It's going to be really cold today. The most difficult bit is going to be the fact that the track temp's really low. Like Ollie said, the circuit's really greasy. So we're starting soft. Uh, the fire up procedure in the garage before you go out could be a little bit longer than maybe what you're used to, because uh, there's quite a lot of, of things going on with tire blankets and stuff. So. Um, just make sure you're comfy and, and you're ready. The guy, you'll have somebody with you, um, a guy called Jimmy, who's going to be your front end guy. He'll be strapping you in. Um, just shout to him if there's anything that you're unsure of or, or you're missing anything, your gloves or whatever. So. Right. right, thanks very much. Yeah. And the top one's a great balance. Yeah. Um, you've got clutches at the bottom. Yeah. So. Um, the plus and minus buttons are used to um, index the multifunction yeah, switches, yeah. but hopefully we should be able to use that. If there's any issues with defaults, we'll just get it to come in and yeah. do it in the garage. Is that all the machine you already? Pretty much. A bit more detail still to come. Um, obviously, there's a lot, a lot to go through, but um, but yeah. I think I'm prepared enough. We'll see. Did you, um, have you already done the seat check? No, I didn't, check. since I jump it, I'll do the install. I'll do the install and then see. Yeah, but it's all one. Yeah, yeah, always. So, how do you feel about this? Uh, a bit nervous. Uh, yeah, good nerves, I guess. Well, we saw that. Well, yeah. <laughs> We'll see. What's going to happen? You're going to so this take the it really first, slowly. We'll see. Uh, first one is literally just out and in. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be checking everything yeah, else. They'll have to run through a load of stuff, check the radio works everywhere. Yeah. And then they'll probably check the car over fully uh, before we run again. And then we have a few sets of tyres to use later on in the day. Will you ride? It's like a. Should be pretty good. Yeah. Go on then. Do, do we hug?
going forwards, that's really going to help yeah, you yeah. out with temps a bit more. So just really, really low brake pressure yeah, yeah. at that point. Acceleration a bit like that, but it's not bad. How do you feel in loading the car? Loading the car. Scary. Because I think about three or two used to have it with a really aggressive level run, I flipped the wheel in it. I think I think that comes with a combination of actually just having more that weight. lifting as well. Yeah. The faster you go, that bike you're gonna need it. How was that? Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, starting to find my feet a bit more. The first kind of install was just anything a bit shocked by how fast it was, but yeah. I thought I was going to be a bit closer to the limit in some of the high speed corners. And, uh, and yeah, really, really cool experience. I was watching you come through that last yeah. corner. I think your first go, you were pretty aggressive. Yeah. Sort of get right out there. I was pretty much flat, but I'm trying to, let's say, get to a point and then uh, you kind of get past the kind of fear factor when you first jump in a new car like this. Uh, it's still a bit of time here and there, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. We saw the rears getting yeah. hit, and your feedback's really good already because yeah. you spotted that straight away. I was close, even though it was the first run, I was close to telling you to do a little bit of a cool lap, I think last, the, but one. I think part of the problem is I don't have the confidence on entry to really attack, so I'm just kind of on power and yeah. therefore loading the rears, I think, quite a bit, yeah. quite early. How do you feel about the front through the run? Because the rears we're going to take out, we're going to go on again yeah. on that set. We're going to change the rear rim eating yeah. so that we've got a little bit of um, less rapid increase yeah. in the rears. Um, How do you feel the front? The fronts were born. They were brained, but they never really went away. No. I maybe lost a tiny bit in slow speed, but I think yeah. a lot of that's due to the braking efficiency as well. We'll go on the same set, because we haven't got tons and tons of sets. Yeah. We probably go to the hard tire for a bit later. Yeah. Track a bit, bit warmer as and well. And then get a softer go. Okay. Um, in terms of overall car balance, if we sort out the rear overheating a little bit, and how does it feel? Like, it does turn quite well in high speed. I think, of course, I'm lifting, so I'm also encouraging you the car to pitch. Weight transfer, yeah, I think it's almost it's like a mental block. Once I do two or more flat, I'll realise the car's stable, um, and we should. So it doesn't feel stable, but it's because you feel I like you're loaded. Yeah, I think if we were to take away front, when I actually started pushing, if I got more confidence, yeah. they just start leaving the front. Yeah, and hopefully the change we're going to make on the rig, you know, it's they're going to be used. Yeah. Obviously, you've got to take that into account, but hopefully that will change yeah. the thing through the run. I might on this next run. If I see the temps are coming up, I might say to you one lap for the end, just yeah. take a cool lap. And I'll go to go cool, I guess, for that, or um, I can stay in. I, I think I'll check in, but I think we probably have to yeah. go to cool, because otherwise the pod system will learn yeah, yeah. what it needs to. OK, cool. Obviously, keep some margin. Yeah. You know, you've done... It's a really good run yeah, yeah. for someone's first go in an F1 car. So just keep some margin, yeah. and we can learn all day then. So we'll go again on the same set, yeah. and make a couple of adjustments, and get yourself ready. Yeah. yeah, I just grabbed something to drink. Yeah. So, tyre wise, what have we got? We're going the same compound, we overheated the rears really quickly. So, we're on the same compound again. These are softs, obviously. Softs again. So, what, are you going softs again? Same set, the old set. Oh. So, they made a change to try and help the rear a bit. Uh, and then we're going softs again. Uh, just because we don't have a million metric sets of tyres. And then we go hard for one run or two runs. And then we go new softs at the end.
my neck was gone, but I was getting the hang of it. Once you learn how to lean on the car. Yeah, I know. Still got a long grip. It's very, very cool. Yeah. Well Thanks very much. Talk me through the test. How was it? How did it feel? Yeah, um, how did it feel? Pretty crazy. Um, it's a different world compared to what I'm used to in F3. Uh, I think especially the first install lap was a, a big wake-up call when I first went full throttle. Um, I got put through the back of the chassis, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, especially towards the end of the day, I kept getting onto it. Um, obviously, a lot of a lot of areas to build on early on with the high-speed kind of confidence in the car. Um, but yeah, I mean, crazy experience. Obviously, easily the fastest car I've driven, so really enjoyed it. I think obviously the the power is, is crazy. I think, in general, the balance is a lot more predictable and stable than an F3 car. Obviously, they have a bit more freedom to make the car as nice as they can. Uh, but the main thing are the brakes. Um, I mean, at the end, of my, the main limitation was my neck rather than the, the car. Um, but yeah, the braking is crazy. I mean, we're braking 15, 20 meters later than I would in F3 and coming in, I don't know, 80, 90 miles an hour faster. Um, so yeah, pretty crazy, but I'm quite happy with where I got to, at least in the last run. So I think at the end, I still had a bit of margin in high speed corners. Obviously, I don't want to crash the car because I haven't got too many bits. Um, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, the places where I wanted to be flat, I was nearly flat around cops, which was kind of my mental, <laughs> mental game, at least. Uh, and obviously, turn one and everything was all flat. But, uh, but yeah, I was trying to push the limits. I think I found the limits a bit easier in the in the slow speed corners. Um, there's still the high speed aero corners is a big step up from, from what I'm used to. So uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm obviously Aston Martin was super welcoming considering uh, <laughs> uh, I've just kind of turned up here as my prize test. Um, they've been super welcoming. Obviously we had a, a limited amount of miles we could do due to engine, I believe. But, uh, but yeah, I still really enjoyed every lap. Um, and I'm pretty sure 25 laps is enough for my neck. <laughs>